Hello guys, in today's video we are going to be modeling a simple house in Autodesk Maya 2018. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a project. Click on File, Project Window, New. Let's name it Simple Underscore House. And for location, I am going to create a folder on my desktop and name it house. Hit select, accept, and now go into file, set project, simple house, and set. Now we have set a project. We need a reference image to follow as a guide. I have already downloaded mine. You are free to download any house and model. If you want exactly the same house that I'm modeling, then you may check it in the description box and download it. Go into view, image plane, import image. And I've kept on my desktop, simple house, open. This is way huge. We have to make it a little smaller. Go into your channel box and click on size X and size Y and middle mouse drag on the viewport hold down your control key to fine-tune the um, change and let it go now offset X and Y you can change the offset X To get it this way change the offset Y to get it that way and when we'll open it it will be a little bigger when we'll close the channel box it will be a little bigger so bear with it now it didn't fit so we've got to move it a little upwards yeah it fit okay guys now we are going to put this image plane in a layer so click on the channel box layer editor and this is create a new layer and assign selected object press this button and double click now rename this we'll call reference image and we are going to hit on reference here display type reference and save now we cannot accidentally select it close this now let's start from the bottom let's create this um, box now the general convention is you always want to start when your Z axis is facing you that is the good way to start so create a cube and spacebar from your front view hit W move it right here and hit R Control, hold down control and scale this y-axis so that you will not um, mess around with y I think this one is good you don't have to model exactly the same um, so creative freedom applies here so that is that um, right click into face take this W move a little bit upwards I think that's good now let's create this staircase create a cube bring it outside go to your side view and align it right there hit down vertices select them W to move up let's see and now object mode R to scale and on the x-axis I think that's good maybe a little less yeah that's good now the down part we are that's gonna be easier Con uh, Q to select and we're selecting this control D to duplicate now W and get it there barely touching it right click vertex and drag and select pull it down there we go object mode 
we have made that now we are going to actually make the house create a cube pull it up R to scale make it bigger even though it's penetrating from below we are going to fix it by going into vertex mode selecting them W pulling them up and actually we are not we don't need this face so hit down backspace to delete it backspace to delete that one as well and this one as well faces these backspace and uh, Q to select because we are not going to be seeing this so uh, decreasing the poly count really matters going to object mode and now what we are going to do is um, we are going to add an edge loop here in the between right in the middle so mesh tool insert edge loop option box multiple edge and let's hit one so it's gonna hit one right in the middle there we go right click the vertices W to move okay there we go and what we can do now is we can go into face mode select this Q shift select this and under edit mesh we have duplicate duplicate that and you can control and left click here so it brings it little upwards on the Z direction so there we go now go into object mode click it I'm going to your face mode or you can do it directly as well shift click control E to extrude and downwards don't worry about this black normal we'll change the direction later now W to move faces a little downward and this guy a little downward and if we want to we can go to vertex mode and select these and change them just to create a little interest change this as well and now what we're gonna do is face mode we're gonna select all the face and under mesh display we are going to hit reverse now reverse the normal there we go and here is a little gap which we do not want so we can go into vertex mode from the front view um, we can go ahead and select these and pull them downward there you go now it's fine no problem and also we want it to go that way so we can hit modify center pivot so the pivot which is down here will come in here and it will center now hit R and scale it's good okay and now what we need to do is let's make this upper part what is this called guys I don't know what is this, what is this called can you comment it on the comment section so creating a cube pulling it up after zoom in and let's let's hit this button so that we can see wireframe unseated and there we go R to scale it W to move it I think this should be good right click faces Control E to extrude or you can go edit mesh and extrude pull this up R to scale and we have it now we want to make this one as well we can do it from here as well G to repeat the last command pull this up face mode click this and shift double click this what happens it it selects 
all the way around Control E to extrude and pull this outward and there we go Let's see if it's a bigger um, It's a little bigger, but no problem We are exaggerating it a bit and hopefully this is not going to be there. So we're going to delete it um, and To cover this up we are going to go into edge mode double click on this one uh, this loop Control E and push it downwards and to cover it up although it's not real in real life we are going to for the sake of learning mess and fill hole see what happens it covered the hole uh, there is no longer um, the gap and also the upper part guys um, mess fill hole sorry mess fill hole I don't know what's happening here no problem we've done it okay it's still covered no problem no big deal now we have done that we are going to be um, creating the uh, wind the door so what we can do is this is little indated so we can add an edge loop on both the sides and we can get that in so select this um, this object the main part go into mesh tool offset edge loop and click and drag here um, so this should be enough this is our width now mesh tool insert edge loop this is going to be our height r to scale that way we are straight we, we make it straight w to pull that up i think that's good enough a little bit upwards and now right click in the face select this shift select this control e to extrude pull that a little backwards and there we go now we can also uh, no problem now what we need to do is we need to add an edge loop here we can create a different mess object as well but still for the indentation let's add um, an edge loop so edit mess insert edge loop sorry mess tool insert edge loop and right click sorry guys click nope and go into object mode with this and click here add it now we need to add these windows what we do is face mode hit Q select these select these control E and now offset now when we offset these these are going to offset separately R to scale make it a little longer and nope what we can do is we can individually make them a little narrower by hitting R key to scale and select both of them control E to extrude and backwards okay there we go that is a little window and on this part but we are not gonna make it because it is the same exact process so why would you even want to do it not in this video in the later video guys okay now let's create this interesting shape and we'll wrap it up because this video is getting too long and I'm repeating the same process so I don't want to take you guys this time um, let's create this and we're gonna go into this so how do you create this very simple um, make it make a cube R to scale make a shape like this go into channel box polycube 5 and let's increase our depth subdivision depth add some depth I think we need only two 
so I have to zoom in so right click vertices and let's make it a smaller and W to move it a little downwards a little downwards and this should be that way no problem okay so let's place it where it fits after zoom in there we go and what it sticks it sticks um, I think it's a sphere so creating a sphere pulling it up after zoom in pulling it backwards pulling it down and you probably don't need that much polygon but still for the demonstration purpose no problem and we'll be creating this shape how do you create it it's very easy we are going to create a polygon primitive and let's go with a pipe yeah now how are we going to create it with pipe I'm gonna show you guys after zoom in E to rotate J to um, change the rotation by 15 degrees and now it's 90 R to scale scale it quite a bit uh, hit right click faces delete these phases faces and hold down your right click and edge mode double click this shift double click this edge loop control E to extrude this button to pull that on this direction and let's go into object mode scale it a bit um, to that part go into your edge mode it's a little bit thick so we are going to we are going to go into our edge mode take this guy shift take this guy and R to scale scale it that way don't worry about this edge moving downward W shift and there we go now we can fill the hole again double click on this edge mess fill hole double click and hit G to repeat the command now we can add this bottom by just adding an edge loop and bridge okay so let me show you how now let's use this tool multi cut multi cut press click on that or if you don't find it right here it's under edit mess um, or somewhere on the mess tool multi cut yeah here mess tool now hold down your control key and you can put it right here if you hit shift it's gonna go into certain increment you can so put it right there hit down control and put it somewhere right there oops now what you can do is right click into face Q hold on this one and uh, click this one and edit mess bridge there we go and this is not quite straight let's get it quite straighter W and move that up there we go so we can add up the middle part as well but still I'm so concerned about your guys's time because we are repeating the same process in this video today so R to scale I think this covers a lot of techniques and for beginners it's way too much okay if you have if you are just starting to learn um, so yeah today video is over hope you guys make um, or understood quite a lot in this video in this video um, if you like the video please don't forget to leave the like button down below and subscribe to my channel I'll be making future videos where I'll cover some more tips tricks and techniques on how to model in order to my thank you guys